Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Donna. We are in Wakayama Castle. Wakayama is another prefecture that is part of Kansai. Every Japanese castle has its own personal story to tell. Japan's history is very complex. It is ruled by emperors and eventually some part of centuries it is ruled by the shugons or the shogunate. Well, the military dictators. So castles are the remaining structures that reminds the world of the Japanese thousands years of history. Wakayama Castle has a fair share of that history. During the war between the succession of the shogunate between Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Tokugawa Ieyasu, this castle was part of that. If you remember Toyotomi Hideyoshi, he is the shogun that owns Osaka Castle. So in 1585, he also captured this castle and during that time, this was called Ota Castle. Toyotomi Hideyoshi destroyed that castle by flooding in, creating three dams on the three sides of the castle and diverting the river to ruin it. So the owner have no choice but to surrender together with his samurais, the monks and peasants. But 50 of that monks did not want to surrender. They committed suicide instead against the Yutomi Hideyoshi's army. So if only these stones could speak, they would tell us the full account of a 400 years bloody history of this castle. Not sure if you can see that, but the stones are green. Look at the stone. It's green. Greenish. That's the castle. We are now climbing into the inner wall. Look at that beautiful contrast. Toyotomi Hideyoshi then rebuilt the castle, but not so long he lost to Tokugawa Ieyasu. And then, that's the start of the rule of the Tokugawa Shogunate until the Meiji Restoration. So, this castle before the air raid bombardment in the Second World War was built by the Tokugawa Shogunate. And now, this is just the reconstruction of that castle. Wakayama Castle, built in 1585 originally, but during the air raid bombardment of World War II, this castle is put down into ground zero. So, the builder of this castle is Toyotomi Hideyoshi. He is the shogunate who also happened to own Osaka Castle. And during his fell on Tokugawa Shogunate, which is the next shogun that ruled Japan, this castle too fell on Tokugawa Shogunate's hand. And from then on, it went into different shoguns after that. During the Meiji Restoration, this has been part of the watchtower. And eventually, it was converted into a park. And until now, it is a museum. As we all knew, this is just a recreation of the Wakayama Castle that was originally built in 1500 because this was ground zero after World War II. And even this, this is all addition to the castle ground. There are only few remaining original stones which when we walk from front that's the original stones of the castle. But as you walk along the side, it is all a modern addition into the castle. So let's go and we'll take a look what's inside Wakayama Castle.
Primor Use by Feudal Retainer. If you're looking at that wood, it's just an ordinary wood, I think. This one is quite rustic. What does it say here? Secret Notes of Archery. Hmm. So these are the family crests. Creature with tiger's head and a fish body. Imaginary animal, it has a body like a fish, a head like a tiger. On its back, it just lives in the sea. It was believed to be a protection against fire. Courage. Hmm. Yeah. Carrier. How small is that inside? The priest was in there. A storage box for storing Japanese tea ceremony utensils. How big is that? We are on the first floor of the Wakayama Castle, and in the first floor is an exhibition of the armor of the feudal times and also some of old guns and spears and javelin and I've seen one which is like eight feet or nine feet long and imagine how a typical Japanese which is a five feet or five five tall man carry eight feet which is this one I'm going to show you now look at this Long spear. It must be tough to be a medieval feudal lord because this is a heavy spear to carry during the battle. You're riding a horse with a heavy suit. What do you call it? A suit or an armor vest? Something like this. That's very heavy. Look at that. It's a mask. So all of these are steel. So when you poke a spear into it, you have to find the armpit area, which is very difficult. We are going to look what is in the second floor. So far, this is the only remaining artifacts left, I think, in the castle because as we knew, this castle is included in the air raid in 1945 during the World War II. And this castle is just remake. As you can see, the wood is even very cheap looking wood. I'm not sure if that's the term, but it's not really a nice hardwood that they use. So, Wakayama Castle on the first floor is just a museum. We'll go to the second floor now. We are now on the second floor of the castle, and it's still a collection of artifacts on display. Winter bamboo cut worn during bottles. Summer bamboo hot worn during battle. And this is a sword with a Kishu Tokugawa family dress. This is a steel, rusty steel now. These are rustic looking woods. I'm not sure what that one is. It's a saddle. Food container, 40 cake. This is the Shogunate crest. Each shape roof tile. Wow. Bottle flag of the chief retainer. That's the dragon head and a fish body. So the roof tiles are the family crest of the shogunate who stayed here in the castle. 
we are on the second floor of the Wakayama Castle. And just like on the first floor, this is a collection, I should say a sparse collection of correspondent letter by the shogunate who stayed in the castle. There are a bit of the collection of maybe what is left on the ruined castle after World War II bombing because there's not much of the documents or the paintings that is left. There's one or two paintings, a horse saddle, basically that's it in here on the second floor. It is still very important to the castle because that was the original part of the castle. So this is a concrete wall but this one is ordinary cardboard. So I think all of that is ordinary cardboard. And this I'm not sure but the railings are very nice wood. But this is a steel already and this is a modern floor. This is just an observation area which actually faces the four cardinal direction. We are on top of Wakayama Castle on the third floor and this is an observation area. You are looking into 360 degree view of Wakayama City. And I'm going to show you now. This is the west. This is still part of the Catholic city. Perhaps history, but there is no translation. I couldn't read it. This must be the original castle stairs. This is a self-service collecting of a stamp here. So just get a stamp. Wakayama Castle. This is our proof that we've been to Wakayama Castle. We are on the castle ground in Wakayama Castle. This is surrounded by acorn trees. There are also maple leaves. If you can see further down the road. And during spring, Wakayama Castle is a heaven for cherry blossoms, azalea, and different kind of flowers. So by then, I will bring you here again on springtime. This is the parking area where we saw just now on top of the castle. It looks like it's a car booth sale. So we'll see what's in here. This is a mini car booth sale here. And the price is ranging from 50 yen to 500 yen for old clothes.
Thank you for exploring with me here in Wakayama Castle. I hope you enjoyed the video and please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel until our next castle exploration here in Japan. Bye!